Yes, we are back with Why in the Morning as promised. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Mo on every social media platform. Yes, it's time for its Entrepreneurship Tuesday, as you already know. And uh, this is the third segment of the day. And my guest, my guest is a special one. She she, she turned her passion to a business before I introduce her. White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning and Entrepreneurship Tuesday. So on to my guest now. She goes by the name uh, Mariana Brown. Brown is a, <laughs> is a nickname. I'll be telling you where it came from. But from the name Brown, she built a business, which is the Brown's Bakery, Karibu Sano. Thank you. All right, Kamarakoni number four. I love to give everybody this opportunity. You say it right there. Kwa camera four, as you say your name. Intro, brief intro. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. My name is Mariana, uh -huh. Mariana Macau. Uh -huh. I own Brown's Bakery. Mm -hmm. Basically, we make cakes, cookies, um, and hopefully much more with time. All right. Yeah. Hopefully much more. But uh, Saeed Sanasani, cookies and cakes. Yeah. All right. So Brown's Bakery is the name of the company. Mm -hmm. It's a unique name. You want to patent it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good name, if you ask me, for a bakery. It goes hand in hand. Most of the pastries are brown in color. Yeah. yeah. Do you know my slogan? Your slogan. Ah, uh, uh, it gets better. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell me it gets better. All right. Kick me away. Kick. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. Uh, Brown's Bakery, kick me away is a slogan. Yeah. Uh, you came up with all this by yourself. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, people would like to know where this brown came from because it is Eliwaka Mariana Macau. So where did this brown come from? Oh, well, mm -hmm. when I was a kid, uh -huh. a young baby, uh -huh. I loved Chris Brown with all my heart. <laughs> So people named me Mariana Brown, <laughs> and I grew up with the name. All right, it, it was a nickname you got from loving Chris Brown. Yes, I so loved him so much. You used to sing a lot of Chris Brown songs. Ooh, every song. All right, <laughs> you never knew in, uh, one day it would give birth to something special like Brown's Bakery. I never thought. All right. Yeah. So, but we're here now. So Brown's Bakery is set up online. Mm -hmm. You do most of your business online. You do everything yourself, uh, and uh, apart from the delivery part. Yeah. All right. So let's start from the the production stage mm -hmm. uh how is the production like you're a baker uh well it gets a bit hard when there are too many orders uh -huh. because i'm alone mm -hmm. at the moment mm -hmm. and it, it gets a bit challenging because mm -hmm. at times you don't even sleep because uh -huh. you you have an order for tomorrow and uh -huh. it's already paid for so uh -huh. you have to make sure by let's say if it's tomorrow lunchtime it has to be ready mm -hmm. so when i make an order i have to pay for i have to pay a deposit. i usually do deposit yes. Uh -huh. yes so deposit is like uh half yes half the amount half the amount all right so sometimes you have so many orders that are paid for that you need to deliver yes all right so what happens when you have uh, when the ovens are not enough i ensure that does not happen uh -huh. because so i do 24 hours before uh -huh. orders are always 24 hours before time mm -hmm. so there's always i always have allowance mm -hmm. of time yeah. so you make sure you don't over order yes or i've, over I've book not yourself. had i've never done that you've never done that yes. it's risky for the business yes. all right before you get into a business like this uh, it's not like uh say selling clothes I can wake up in the morning and say, ah, I want to buy jackets and sell them at a profit mm -hmm. or buy shoes. Mm -hmm. You need some skills. Yeah. You need to know what baking is. You need to yeah. have some knowledge in baking. Yeah. So how did you manage to gather all this knowledge? Okay, I used to bake before, mm -hmm. but I just never thought of it as a business. Mm -hmm. But with time, I thought of it as a business. Mm -hmm. And I went to a school. It's called so it started Genius. as a hobby? Yes, I mm -hmm. loved baking at home. Just, uh -huh. you know, for my mom, for my sister, uh -huh. but not with decoration, just baking. Uh -huh. Then I went to school, it's called Gina's Bakes in mm -hmm. Lavington, mm -hmm. and from there I had, I got to sharpen my skills, because I already mm -hmm. knew how to do it, uh -huh. I just got to sharpen my skills, I needed to know what equipment I needed for business, mm -hmm. what do you need, licensing, all those things I had mm -hmm. to learn from school. From school, yeah. so school is very important. It's very important uh -huh. for the business, because you know, it's not just waking up and posting cakes. Right. You need to know how to do the decoration because uh -huh. presentation of cakes is it's very critical because uh -huh. you just can't deliver a cake that looks anyhow. All right. So yeah. what the client sees is very important. Very important. It's it's actually what, you know, people are so much into Instagram, Facebook. They uh -huh. they, they see the cake, they want to take the photo. Uh -huh. So you need to make sure that it is looks what sells good. You. Exactly. Because, you know, as much as they taste, the taste is good, uh -huh. they'll not probably 
post the taste. Uh -huh. They no. will definitely <laughs> post the picture and then they say it tastes and good. this is what marketing and branding is exactly. all about. Exactly. All right. So we're living in the era of information, yeah? And uh, so many people have gone to the University of YouTube, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Are you one of them? I haven't, mm -hmm. but I hear it's a very good university, so I think I will. You think you're going to visit YouTube, <laughs> yes. YouTube sometime? Yes. All right. So uh, coming back to the business now, Mariana, uh, the image of the cake, the image of the brand is very important mm -hmm. from the branding uh, to the marketing. The branding and marketing uh, uh, go hand, hand, in hand, hand in hand. So uh, you handle this yourself as well. Yes. After you bake the cakes, after you make them presentable, <laughs> you go st forward to brand and market your stuff. Yes. Isn't this a lot of work first? Well, it is. But, you know, when you start a business, you need to be ready for such things. You mm -hmm. need to start from somewhere mm -hmm. until you're ready to get employees mm -hmm. who can do it for you. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, you need to do everything by yourself, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I am a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I, I like doing things to perfection. So mm -hmm. I can't even tell someone else, okay, the cake is ready, take the photo for me. I feel like they'll not take the angle that I want. <laughs> so you also want to be involved <laughs> yes, in it? Yes, I want, to, I want to be involved in, in uh, everything in Brown's Bakery. You are like Kanye West of the baking. <laughs> <laughs> the baking world. All right, so mm, there are these pages that you see on Instagram from Tasty, you know them, Tasty pages, mm -hmm. the, the, the cooking pages. I yeah. love them so much. I drool on them sometimes. Yeah. Uh, well, other people check out, uh, you know, what the other guys <laughs> check out. I check out cakes, I check out food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sometimes they make short clips, 20 seconds, a cake is made, like they, they, they time lapse it. Mm -hmm. and then you go to the kitchen, you try to do the same exact thing, but it, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't come, come out. out. Yes, w what goes wrong? What, what okay, are some of the you mistakes see? you make as bakers? Okay, I'll tell as you. As people are trying to bake. For cakes. Uh -huh. Every different cake has different measurements of everything that you put. Mm -hmm. And so every measurement, are are, yes, like... Did you love chemistry in high school? No. Uh, <laughs> but it's coming in handy right yes. now, yeah? Like, if you put, just an example, a quarter cup of flour and you're supposed to have half cup of sugar, mm -hmm. and then you put quarter cup of sugar, that cake will be bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just, it, it totally depends. At mm -hmm. times, you put too much baking soda, the cake will not come out. Mm -hmm. It will be bad. It's, it right. just has to have the specific measurements. All right, so the measurements are key. Very what about the stages in which you add the ingredients? Are they also very important? Very important. Mm -hmm. You cannot mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. You have to start with the dry, then go to the wet. <laughs> All right, when you say dry, you mean flour, dry, you yeah, mean flour. baking soda, yeah. you, what else Cocoa, is dry? Cocoa, salt, salt, spices. Oh, the salt goes into cake as well? Yes. Some, it's good to not know. all. Some. Oh, not all. <laughs> if you'd like to know anything about baking or the baking business, hit us up on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. We are with Miss Mariana Brown, the CEO and founder of Brown, Brown's Bakery. How can they find you on social media? Uh, Brown's Bakery, K E underscore, mm -hmm. and um, M S Mariana mm -hmm. on Instagram, Facebook Mariana Brown, Twitter Mariana Brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Mariana. Uh, when you're looking to get into a business, mm -hmm. like personally, I'm an artist. Before I got into music, I went, I did my research, I looked at Drake. I saw his views on YouTube. I was like, if I want to be <laughs> this, I really need to work hard yeah. on this. All yeah. right. Uh, in your field, I see. Each and every supermarket now has a bakery section. Yeah. And they do it large scale. They have the big ovens. Yeah. Does this worry you? And if it does, or if it did, how did you manage to cut this carbonage for yourself? It does not worry me, actually, because mm -hmm. I feel like everybody has their own lane. Mm -hmm. And as for me, I do fresh, fresh things. Like, mm -hmm. I would not sell a cake that has slept in the house. Mm -hmm. I do by fresh. By order. Yes, by order, mm -hmm. which I think is very important. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be a not talking about those ones in the supermarkets, but I think it's better. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> yeah. You than, have to than a cake that blow your trumpet. Yeah. Nobody else is going to blow the trumpet for exactly. you. Exactly. So you do it by order. This makes you stand out. Yes. You do it by order. Yes. Uh, and you employ social media platforms and the internet as well, mm -hmm. which we are going to address in a few. But right about now, I'd like to check out your Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Brown's Bakery KE. All yes. right. On Instagram. So you're open from Monday to Saturday. Uh, eight zero zero hours to uh, seventeen zero zero hours. Yeah. Uh, call or WhatsApp zero seven two nine zero five five zero one five. 
DMs you can hit Miss Mariana up or Browns yeah, Baker KE. Uh, huh. So maybe you can scroll up. I see the poster. That's a beautiful picture right there. That is your last post. All right. So, uh, Are you so seeing my happy client <laughs> there with cookies? Yeah, that is your happy client right there. <laughs> you made some cookies for the client. Yes. What type of cookies are these? I this see some toppings. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip. Yeah. Hmm. You don't want us to live longer. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see different kinds of cakes. I see a birthday cake. I see a thank you cake. I see chocolate chip cookies again. All right, uh, maybe we can pause there. Pause, 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 pause. Many people want me to ask about the cakes, but I won't ask about the cakes. I want to ask about the brand right there, the logo. Okay. All right, how did you come up with that? I had... Maybe you can open this for me. Mm -hmm. This logo right there, all right. I had someone... Mm -hmm. You have a graphic um, designer? Yes. Uh -huh. I worked with with him before when I used to do events mm -hmm. and he, I told him that I have my bakery I gave him my my logo and everything mm -hmm. and yeah he told me I'll come up with something I told him I want something unique something mm -hmm. that shows a bakery uh -huh. so came nice. up with ideas I see some wheat yeah, at the yeah. The he gave me about five different samples, uh -huh. but I fell in love I with this I see a one. rolling pin there. It's <laughs> yeah. very creative. Yeah. That's why I had, to, I had to take some time. So uh, this represents pastry in all dimensions. Yes. From the wheat to the rolling pin yes. to the browns. Yes. I like that. All right. I see Mr. DNG himself at 1FM right there. Yeah. What was happening there? I had an interview with him too. Uh -huh. He ordered a few cakes from me and he loved them and he had to have me at the show. Wow. Yeah. So, uh -huh. I see some, wow, I see some very good cakes. Talking about uh, Mr. DNG loving your cakes and having you on his show, uh, do you consider word of mouth as a, as a tool of marketing for you? A very mm -hmm. huge one. I, uh -huh. I think actually despite, apart from my Instagram and my Facebook and my WhatsApp, mm -hmm. I think recommendations are one thing I, I really, what do I say? Live off. Yes, because <laughs> so many, like I'd sell you a cake and you'd go tell your friend, your friend would order mm -hmm. for me. All the friends that I'm going to nice. share the cake with. Yes. All right. Or even your friend who has a birthday, you tell mm -hmm. them I got a cake somewhere, it was very nice, call uh -huh. this number. All right. Yeah. So word of mouth is very important for a small business yes. or for a startup. It goes a huge way. It goes a huge way. Yeah. All right. So what do you attribute to people recommending Brown, Brown Bakery, Brown's Bakery? Well, first of all, uh -huh. my cakes are nice. Your cakes are nice. <laughs> they are tasty. They kick you away. Yes. <laughs> and um, they look good. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I would tell anybody get cake from me mm -hmm. because my number one thing is to make sure the cake is very tasty, very well baked, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. I don't think there's any other thing someone wants from a cake. It has to taste good and look good. Yes. That's the only thing. Yes. It Shut down to. straight. <laughs> All right. But I'm starting so, something mm -hmm. that's going to be unique with my cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, but for adults only, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have alcoholic cakes. All right, yes. coming soon. By the end of the month, yes. All right, so there's a formula for making cakes that will get people drunk. Yes. You have the formula. Yes. Is it out there or you're going to put it? I don't know. That's just out of my research, out of my own hard work. So I don't know wow. if anybody else does. So this <laughs> is going to be for 18 plus parties. Yes. If you want a cake that is this and that yes. so uh, so innovation is also something that is very important yes. all right so since you started to now that you want to 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 venture into alcoholic cakes now uh what are some of the innovations you've come up with along the way that really blew you and you say this was very necessary for my business um i think it's just on the decoration part mm -hmm. You need to have your cakes different from other bakeries. Mm -hmm. um, there's some things that are common, like the chocolate drip. Mm -hmm. You need to have things that are different. So for me, like I tried, I don't know if you've seen one, there's one with the chocolate flakes. Mm -hmm. It's different from what other people are doing. It mm -hmm. looks like a snowy, rainy chocolate thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just good to have 
different decoration from all other cakes so mm -hmm. that when someone takes a photo they feel good about it and people would ask oh wow where did this come from mm -hmm. yeah all right when it comes to your business your, the pastries business ice cream uh, people tend to sensualize the marketing if you know what i'm talking mm -hmm. about sex sells so yeah. much yeah uh, so people sensual like the, the drips the kind yeah. of towns they <laughs> use to market uh do you use the marketing tools as well and what do you think about them i i don't mm -hmm. i don't see like it's a right way to go when it comes to cakes mm -hmm. i feel like they're two different they're things. two different things yeah like you why would i sell <laughs> cakes like that but all right so uh you don't judge people who do it I don't but it's judge. not your way if if it's working for them mm -hmm. it's good for them but for me i don't think it would work for me i don't see how it would work for me so all right uh, so we've talked so much about your business, we've talked so much about the cake, but uh, the big question is always, at that point that you're trying to turn your hobby into a business, there's one thing that comes between you and turning that hobby into the business. And this is the capital, and this is uh, the factors of production. Uh, I'd like to know how you managed to, to transform your hobby into a business, considering getting the capital and just mm -hmm. factors of production. Okay, it wasn't easy, to be honest, when mm -hmm. I started out, because I did not have the capital, truth be told. Mm -hmm. I just had a bit, but when you're starting, you need so many things. There's the mixers, there's the ovens, mm -hmm. there's the flour, there's tins, there's so much that you need. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom really came in handy. She got me so many of the things. Mm -hmm. And my sister, my brother, mm -hmm. yeah. They so really family... Family really number came through one, for you. Yes. Family is number one. Yes. All right. So uh, you're a mom now. Yes, Most I people am. don't know you're a mom. You <laughs> yes, don't look like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're still killing the game, but you're a mom now. And yes. I'd like to know, how, how has it affected your business, your Whew. perspective or perception of business? It's one of mm -hmm. my biggest challenges, actually, because... My baby is only five months old, mm -hmm. turning six months, mm -hmm. and she needs my attention 24 seven, and mm -hmm. she is so attached to me, because mm -hmm. I think I've just been with her ever since she was born, and whenever I need to bake, that's the moment she actually wants me to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's been hard, mm -hmm. but I just find a way, I always find a way with her. Mom's always find a way. Yeah. Your mom found a way. <laughs> and, and I find a way for And her. you find a way yeah. as well. All right, so what would you tell uh, the people who are looking at you right now and say, ah, I want to be like Mariana. I want to turn my hobby into a business. I always paint and I want to take it to the next level. I always cook and I want to take it to the next level. I sing in the bathroom. I want to take it to the next level. <laughs> I play video games. I want to design my own. What yeah. would you tell this type of person? I'd say go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I didn't think I would do this. Mm -hmm. I was like, what if I don't get people buying? What if I mess up a cake? What mm -hmm. if I sell a bad cake and someone has a bad stomach cake? Mm -hmm. But I'd just tell you, go for it. Whatever you want. The only thing between you and your business is yourself. Mm -hmm. Go for it. If you need equipment, start looking for capital, start it, go for it. Like, if that's what you go, love, go, go, just go, 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 go for it. And uh, yes, Mariana, before we, you can go, we have to talk about the other aspect mm -hmm. of your business because we've talked about the production part, mm -hmm. uh, the branding part, mm -hmm. and the marketing part. Mm -hmm. So, this is where you get the cake from the oven to the client, mm -hmm. and this is the delivery. Mm -hmm. All right, so people have mixed feelings about food delivery people have mixed feelings about who's going to handle their food in between uh where it's being made to where, where it's going, it's going. Yeah. all right so uh how do you handle your delivery first okay so for me i i like trusting one or two people mm -hmm. i would not just put a cake to some motorbike guy and mm -hmm. let it go to the a random whatever. yeah i would mm -hmm. not do that i have someone who does mm -hmm. my delivery her name mm -hmm. is Hulda. Mm -hmm. And she's really good. She's a very nice person. Mm -hmm. And she comes home mm -hmm. and literally carries the cake to the person. Uh -huh. She's the only delivery person that I have, uh -huh. the only one that I trust. Uh -huh. And yes, we have a very good relationship with her. 
All right, so you tell your clients, this is my delivery person, this is the person who's going to deliver the yes, cake. Yes, so I give them the number and they know who to expect. They exactly. know who to expect. All right, so what do you think about all these delivery uh, services that have come up? Uh, and I'm very particular with food because food is a very sensitive yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, clothes, you can just deliver yeah, clothes. Yeah. But food is a very sensitive thing. What yeah. do you think about this uh, delivery by random people, a random person delivering your food, sometimes not even sealed? If it's not sealed, to be honest, I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Your food, your food can even fall, but because mm -hmm. the person doesn't really know you, doesn't care, mm -hmm. they'll just pick it up and bring it to you. Anything uh -huh. can happen Anything anytime. Can happen yeah. uh -huh. Maybe the food smells so good, you'll taste one or two. <laughs> you never know. So, so I prefer, yeah. it's good to have, or if you're having random people delivering, at least seal it. Uh, at least seal the food. Yeah. Make sure it's sealed. Yes. Have the prowess to seal the food. Yes. If it's not sealable, have somebody you trust. Yes. All right. Personally, have you had food delivered to your doorstep? Yes. All right. So it's something, it's a service you've used? Yes. All right. Wow. So some of us are just paranoid. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but it's good but to it's have. Valid. But I, I, I see this food delivery services nowadays, it's really improved. Uh -huh. People have taken the precautions. They're having food really well sealed. Mm -hmm. And... For example, the Jumia food and everybody, mm -hmm. it's, it's good. It's a company, it's something people can trust. Uh -huh. you so can it has trust to be food. from somebody reliable also yes. when it comes to yes. delivery. Oh, and another thing about my delivery, I do not allow motorbikes mm -hmm. to deliver my cakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they, what is this? when it shakes, uh -huh. the cake is gonna. Oh, it's going to mm, it's I and the decoration is everything. The decoration is everything. How do All you right. even start with the client? <laughs> I get you, but All right, so your camera is now for four. Just give them social media handles and uh, how they can get uh, in touch with Brown's Bakery. Mm -hmm. uh, Brown's Bakery, K E underscore, that's mm -hmm. on Instagram. And MS Mariana underscore mm -hmm. on Instagram. Facebook, mm -hmm. Mariana Brown. Twitter, Mariana Brown, and yeah, the number 0729 Are you going to put it down there? <laughs> Somewhere down there. 0729 uh -huh. All right, thank you very much, Mariana. Before you go, uh, the big question is, uh, what is pastry, if I ask? Is it only cakes and cookies or... No, pastry uh -huh. is a whole wide lot. Pastry is just... Anything made of flour, mm -hmm. milk, butter, sugar, mm -hmm. just those things. Does the it have pastry. to be sweet to be called pastry? Uh, no, not really. Uh -huh. There are some pastries that are not sweet. Uh -huh. There are some that are sour because people have different preferences. Uh -huh. But there's so much. There's cinnamon rolls. Uh -huh. There's pastries like a flavors. whole. Yeah, there's so, pies. You see, uh -huh. when you go to a hotel, all those desserts, all uh -huh. those are pastries. All desserts, yes. maybe. Yeah. All right. So uh, pastries is a whole course, if you it's, ask me. Yeah, it's, you can go to university mm, and literally. get a whole course of pastries, yeah. All right. <laughs> I went to course in that, like, yeah. sense of, of, of meals. Or meals, yes, yes. yes. But I but like that angle. you can still angle. go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I like that angle. All right, so th we have come to the end of this. Uh, Miss Mariana, we had Miss Mariana Brown, uh, CEO and founder of Brown's Bakery. You can find them at Brown's uh, Bakery or underscore on Instagram. Just make your order. Just enjoy pastries. Do you offer classes as well? No, not, not yet. yet. Yes. All right, but it's coming. Enjoy uh, pastries from uh, Brown's Bakery, Brown's Bakery underscore uh, on Instagram. I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Monavi social media platform. And Hilda Watiti is coming up next with another interview for Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Don't forget to get in touch with us on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Or if you miss anything, catch us on YouTube at Y254 channel. Hello with Heath is coming up next. As I say, don't touch that dial, don't go nowhere.